this video, we're going to discuss the musical isomorphisms. Uh, this video is based on part of section 9.4 of Fortney. It's not based on the whole thing. We're going to be skipping Einstein notation. Einstein notation is really helpful, especially when you get into more complex differential geometry, but we're going to be skipping it just because we don't need it um, as heavily. But it does mean that the names of the musical isomorphisms are not really, um, they don't really make sense um, because it, like the names are sort of based on that notational convention. So if you're interested, you can read section 9.4 um, to see where the names come from. So the first one that we're going to be using um, most frequently is called flat. So it's denoted with the flat operator. And at a point, it's the operator which goes from the tangent space to the cotangent space at that point in Rn. And it's going to take a vector to what's called V flat, um, where if V is equal to V1 d by dx1 um, plus all the way out to Vn d by dxn, then need the little n there, then v flat is equal to the same coefficients, but now they are the coefficients of um, the elementary one forms. And alternately, if um, you write v as a column vector, then uh, v flat is the row vector with the same entries. Um, one important thing to note is that the flat operator only works in Cartesian coordinates, and the same will be true of the sharp operator that we're going to define later. So um, flat only works in Cartesian coordinates. Um, so you might expect, say if I have a map phi um, from R2, for example, let's do polar coordinates uh, to R2 and XY coordinates, right? So this is our, our favorite uh, map which takes r theta to x, y, then you might expect that, so uh, I can go from the tangent bundle to r2 in r theta coordinates, and I can push vectors forward in, from r theta coordinates to um, x, y coordinates. Then I can take the flat operator, and now I get an element of the cotangent bundle in x, y coordinates, and then I can take the pullback, and I'll get an element of the cotangent bundle um, in R theta coordinates. And you might expect that some operator, I'll put this in pink because it's uh, not, it doesn't exist on like the blue. Wow, that's very gendered. Maybe, maybe I'll put this in uh, green. Um, the green flat operator doesn't actually exist. So the blue, um, everything that's in blue does exist. And the green one is just taking, saying, okay, take this definition that, um, that we cooked up and just do what what you would you know the obvious thing for polar coordinates so take like um the coefficients in of d by dr and d by d theta and turn them into the coefficients of dr and d theta okay so but the, the thing is that that's not going to work so what i'm saying is that if i go around um now i'll use pink if i go around like this this picture that's not equal to let's use um, something that stands out it's not equal to going around um, in this direction so the, the pink and the and the purple are not the same um, and so what that tells me because push forward and pull back are basically just changing coordinates they're not really doing anything um, consequential what that tells me is that this uh, green flat operator is no good it can't make sense Okay, so what we're going to do is compute the pink and the purple, but using um, a, one specific example. So I'm not going to have to prove that these are unequal in general, I'll just prove that they're not equal on a specific example. So we're going to take uh, d by d theta. So what we want to show is that um, the pullback of um, the push forward of d by d theta then flatted is not equal to, I guess I have this in green, not equal to the purple, which would be d by d theta flat. So I can already write what d by d theta flat should be. It should just be d theta. And let's now figure out what the left-hand side should be. So um, first I need to, before I do anything, um, I should compute what the differential operator of d theta is. This is something that we've done several times already, so I'll just go ahead and write it down. So then um, if I want to just compute this part, 
uh, then the push forward of d by d theta is just the second column. It's going to be um, negative r sine theta, r cosine theta. Now, when I take the flat um, of this the whole thing, um, it's, I'm going to get the transpose, but I can also just write this as negative r sine theta um, d uh, r plus r cosine theta. Oh, sorry, this should be, um, this is in Cartesian coordinates now, dx plus r cosine theta dy, right? Now I'm over here. Okay, so now let's take, um, sorry, I wasn't up there, I'm here. So I should take now the pullback. So the pullback is the transpose of d phi applied to the transpose of this um, row vector. So cosine theta, negative r sine theta, sine theta, r cosine theta, applied to negative r sine theta, r cosine theta. So let's see what I get. So I'm going to get um, negative r sine theta, cosine theta, plus r sine theta, cosine theta. So those will cancel out. And then I'll get um, r squared sine squared theta plus r squared cosine squared theta. So what I end up getting will be 0, 1, or sorry, 0, I don't want 0, 1, will be 0 r squared, which corresponds to r squared d theta. So what I've shown is that if I compute this left-hand side, I get r squared d theta. But if I compute the right-hand side, I get d theta. So Everything else I did made sense, except this sort of bogus flat operator right here. Um, maybe I should do that in dark green because that's that corresponds to the dark green step um, right here. And that was just nonsense. And I've shown that it's nonsense because if R is neither one nor negative one, then these, um, these two forms can't be the same. So flat has an inverse. Okay, I guess so. So anyway, the takeaway from this is, if you want to compute flats or sharps, as I'm going to tell you about in a moment, only do it in Cartesian coordinates. All right, so flat has an inverse which is called sharp. So sharp is denoted with a sharp, um, and it goes from the tangent, the cotangent space at a point, to the tangent space, and it um, extends to one forms, um, and so it's the obvious inverse. So if I have a um, Differential form v1 plus, or sorry, v1 dx1 summed all the way out to vn dxn, then this is going to go to, so this is equal to v, it's going to go to v sharp, which is defined as v1 d by dx1 all the way out to vn d by dxn. Um, and similarly, it extends to take one forms to vector fields. Um, and similarly, if I have um, my vector or my one form written as a row vector, its sharp is just the column vector v1 through vn. 